We do have some breaking news for you tonight. Twitter has reportedly suspended an account allegedly linked to Iran's Supreme Leader Ayatollah Ali Khamenei. The Twitter account has often posted excerpts from Khamenei's speeches and other official content from the country's leader. Now, the suspension comes days after the account posted a video showing the assassination of President Donald Trump while playing golf at Mar a Lago. Joining me now to discuss is the executive director of Iranian Americans for Liberty, Brian Lee. Brian, welcome to the show. Thanks for having me, Allison. Of course, Brian, does this signal a credible threat not only to President Trump but to the United States at large? Well, I think any time a regime that's been chanting death to America while also funding terrorist proxies all around the world uh, since before I was born uh, takes a shot at the former president like this, yes, it is a threat. Uh, and uh, listen, we applaud Twitter for taking this decisive action. Uh, my organization uh, was actually the ones that pulled this uh, video off of Khomeini's website. We put it on Twitter uh, for the world to see. We're thankful that individuals like Rick Rennell, uh, Representative Claudia Tenney, and Representative Kat Kamek also helped to amplify this so the world could see this lust for violence that Khomeini has towards not just President Trump, but every single American. Uh, and it's time for President Biden to end this charade of uh, diplomacy and negotiations with the world's foremost sponsor of terrorism. Uh, he should uh, go back to President Trump's maximum pressure campaign, in our opinion, uh, and completely isolate this regime from the world. They're terrorists. They've been terrorists since 1979. This video shows it should show all the American people really their true intentions. Yeah, Brian, you know, I don't really think that this story has gotten a lot of press. I mean, obviously, we're talking about it, but a lot of the mainstream media really hasn't talked about it. But this is a serious, serious thing. Oh, it's an extremely serious thing. Uh, and, and it's not just uh, President Trump that has come in the crosshairs uh, by uh, Khomeini and the Iranian regime. Just two weeks ago, uh, the Iranian regime put out a video uh, on social media depicting them launching uh, ICBM, intercontinental missiles, uh, towards Israel uh, and attacking Israel. So uh, again, this regime really hasn't changed their colors too much since 1979. Uh, and while uh, Newsmax has certainly has been leading on this, you're right, Allison. Unfortunately, we haven't really seen too much from the mainstream media uh, and people really holding this regime accountable. Uh, and let me say this as well. I think this is a good first step from Twitter, but let's be candid here. The account that they banned is one mm -hmm. of his, uh, what's a good uh, analogy, one of his burner type accounts. It's an account that he can afford to lose. Uh, they, Twitter needs to go even further. They need to ban every single account. This is a gentleman, uh, a gentleman, this is an evil man, I yeah. should say, that tweets out in English, in Arabic, in Hebrew, in French, in Persian, in every single language you can possibly think of. So Twitter should take a strong stance against all of Khomeini's accounts uh, in my organization actually two weeks ago called for that to happen uh, and uh, we'll see if uh, members of Congress uh, will heed our call. Yeah I hope they do because it's you know he probably will create other accounts under other names and you know it's just a matter of time that that happens. Um, do you think that the Biden administration is doing enough to take this seriously and plus other threats that you talked about? What should they do? What should not. they be doing? Uh, uh, Allison, uh, President Biden banned the word malign from being used in official communications when, when describing the Islamic Republic. So, you know, I've said uh, jokingly, it's really not so much a joke anymore, unfortunately, that President Biden is more like President Appeasement. He's been appeasing uh, the Iranian regime and, and other terrorists uh, and dictatorship regimes around the world uh, since he uh, stepped into the White House. He has never projected any type of strength onto the Islamic Republic of Iran. Uh, and it also should be noted that because of this uh, appeasement and weakness coming from the White House, our adversaries like China and Russia have uh, taken advantage uh, of this vacuum of power. And it was just last summer that China did a deal with Iran where they would be investing $400 billion over the next 25 years. Allison, that is an enormous amount of money for a country that hasn't even seen 10 million in outside investment in the last 10 years. Uh, so President Biden continues to project weakness. Uh, when a reporter asked uh, uh, Jen Psaki, 
uh, the press secretary uh, about this video. She couldn't even bring uh, bring herself to condemn this video. No. So uh, from top to bottom, from Biden to Saki to yeah. Blinken to Malley to yeah. Sullivan, everyone you can think of, it's just weakness yep. after weakness. I and know. terrorists are always going to exploit weakness. Yep. Brian, I got to go. I'm sorry. They're, they're, we're, we're short for time, but we appreciate it. Thank you so much for coming on the show and everything you're doing. We appreciate it. All right. Thank you, Allison.